Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com channel and today we're going to assemble the Xiaomi Redmi A3. First, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool, insert it into the hole and carefully push out the tray for SIM cards and memory cards. If the tray is difficult to remove, we can additionally use tweezers. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes we can proceed to detach the back cover. To detach the back cover we first use a thin metal tool to slightly lift the back cover which is slightly recessed into the middle cover. We carefully lift the cover from one edge so that we can insert a thin plastic film and then continue working with a thin plastic film. We cut through the adhesive, thereby detaching the back cover. Please note that the back cover has a built-in camera cover so we need to be really careful in the area of the cameras so as not to catch and damage the lenses and pay attention to the fact that the cover is pretty firmly glued around each of the cameras therefore we need to be really careful when detaching the back cover And we don't need to try to lift the cover with a force, so that the cover accidentally cracks, so that we don't break the cover. We carefully go along the edge with a film. And we can try to carefully lift the cover from one edge to detach it at the location of the cameras. For this we already need a tool such as a plastic spatula or a plastic picker as in our case. And we detach the back cover. As we can see on the back cover we have only a gasket and we see the location of the adhesive just around all the cameras and flash. Then we need to unscrew all the screws in the upper and lower parts. To do this we use a Phillips hash 3 screwdriver. If the screws are difficult to unscrew, we can use a magnetizer. If we have old screws, we can additionally use tweezers. We place the screws on a special surface so as not to mix anything up or forget during reassembly. After that, we need to detach the middle cover. To do this, we also use a thin plastic film. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the display frame in the area of the car tray. Unclip several clips and then use a thicker tool. By unclipping the clips, we thereby detaching the middle cover. As always, we need to be careful in the area of the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor since in these places there may be cables. And of course we need to be careful at the corners because in these places the cover holds especially firmly.
and we detach the middle cover, we need to carefully lift it and turn it over and at the same time not damage the fingerprint sensor cable. We turn over the cover and we need to disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool and disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector and remove the cover. So we remove the cover, on the cover we have the antenna contact pads. We disconnect the battery connector and proceed to disconnect the connectors on the subboard. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector, we disconnect the interboard cable connector and peel off the heat conducting coating on the vibration motor. And we can carefully detach the subboard. We find the right place, lift it up and take out the subboard. On the subboard we have a microphone, charging port and other elements on the back side. In our traditional microphone hole test, in our case the microphone hole is protected by a mesh and the microphone hole itself in the display frame has a L shape. This means that if we insert something into the microphone hole we are unlikely to damage the microphone itself. Then we move on to disconnecting the cameras on the motherboard. We disconnect the rear cameras and hold them slightly so that they don't fly out and we don't damage the lenses. Then we can disconnect the front camera. We also peel off the copper heat conducting coating. And we can disconnect the interboard cable connector and disconnect the coaxial cable connector. So we move on to detaching the motherboard. We also carefully hook it by the edge, lift it up and take it out. On the subboard we have a card connector, a headset jack port and a speaker remains in the display frame. And we can move on to detaching the battery. Traditionally we have two brown tabs that need to be turned to the side. And read the description in what sequence what exactly we should pull. And as we understand from the description, we need to turn the tab which is located in the middle to the side. And the tab which is white and located on the edges carefully pull up. So we carefully pull up the tab, thereby detaching the battery. As we can see, under the battery we have a transparent adhesive protective coating protecting the interboard cable. Well, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.